Hello again, people of the internet. Daniel the ADD Gamer here once again, um, but in a new room. This is where I'll be for now. I have moved across the house to the other end, closer to the bedroom. And this is actually the other bedroom. Um, I haven't got my green screen up right now, so this is actually stuff that's behind me here. I can touch that dresser. Um, yeah, and there's my daughter's old car seat. But, um, I moved over here. I don't, yeah, anyway, not going to get into all that. So, why are we here today? I am here to open up this. This is a USB 3.0 game capture live streaming card. It is, uh, by... Branded as <clears throat> this company, Link Stable. Um, this is it has 1080p, 60 frames per second video capture and streaming. Plug and play. No need install driver. That's exactly what it says. 3.0 USB uh, USB 3.0 high speed port. Supports support Windows, Mac, and Linux. Ah, so you can see. Maybe. Not gonna focus. Anyway. Um you can see on the back the lovely specifications. In Chinese. And yeah, I've already cut the tape. Let's open it up and see. There it is. It's tiny. I mean, that's really tiny. And it's stuck in foam. Here we got input and output HDMI is there. And there's our USB 3.0 port. That's all there is to it. And it fits in the palm of my hand, pretty much. And so let's see what else. Box. Warranty card. Okay. USB 3.0. Cable, uh, driver disc, even though it's plug and play and doesn't need drivers, and it's uh, manual in English and Chinese. No, no, usually they're in English and Chinese. This one's just in English. Cool. Fairly straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the box because if, I, if it's plug and play and I don't need it, why do I need it? So this is one of the uh, USB 3.0s. There are so many different kinds. This is one of the ones that has the same, uh, I think that's the type A connector on both ends. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in. All right, we've got it all hooked up. I've got my USB, not USB, I've got the uh, capture card hooked in to my HDMI here. That's running over to my NES Classic, just for testing purposes. And let's see how it comes out. Boom. There it is. NES Classic. Oh, and let me turn sound up so you can hear. to show you it's not just the background let's uh let's start up a game right quick what should we start up um galaga just oh got some weird uh, sound going on come on capture card sure what that was all about but you know that's lovely okay sounds a little delayed there we go all right i'm gonna stop it there let's go back to the main screen there we go that's it this uh, 
There we go. This little capture card worked pretty well. Um, had some issues with it, you know. Uh, I'm getting a little stuck, but given the price, it's not bad. If you can afford an Elgato, I would say, you know, that you're probably better off going for something like that that's a little more stable. But they have their issues every now and again. You know, everybody I've seen have s s troubles, especially in, like, really long streams, even with Elgato um, uh, capture cards. And those are very expensive. This one was pretty inexpensive given, um, given you know, coupons and everything that I got it off of it. But, you know... It worked pretty well. I'm very pleased with turn this off the NES. I'm very pleased with the results that um, I was able to just plug it in. I didn't even have to install any drivers. It just worked. But in the meantime, I have a real capture card now, a real live capture card. I can hook up the switch to do more streams and things like that without having to have the Xbox in here or have it plugged into the Xbox in the other room. Because currently, the, or before, that was what I was having to do, as you know. But now, I don't have to. Yay! Um, anyway, I think that's going to pretty much wrap this video up for the Link Stable um, HD USB 3.0 game capture card. Um, pretty awesome little card. Tiny little thing. Um, I hope it stands up to uh, what I've needed for, because... Uh, I kind of need it. And uh if it's not going to work, I'll I will have to go the more expensive route in the future if that's not if it's not going to if it's not going to last. But I think and hope that it will. But till then, I guess we'll just have to see how it's going to work out. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here and uh, start editing this together and then I have another unboxing and review to do of something else I got this holiday season and uh, here's a little preview it's gonna be awesome oh yeah oh yeah so my uh, I don't know if you know but my Razer keyboard is a mechanical Black Widow. I'm sure I've shown it to some people before, but there it is. It is a Black Widow 2014 edition Ultimate Stealth mechanical key gaming keyboard. Um, and recently it's been um, losing some functionality on some of its keys and it's getting worse. So, yeah, it was time for a new one. Walmart, of all places, had that on sale. Big bundle comes with four different things you know you got your keyboard which is a Sinosa Pro uh, Kraken Essential headset Goliath speed mouse pad and a death adder mouse um, I really like my mouse that I have it is a uh, Diablo 3 mouse from Steel Series, but I'm willing to try a razor mouse um, because well I mean for that price who wouldn't right but that'll be in the next video Thank you so much for watching the video you just watched. I wanted to add one thing to the end right quick. Um, I realized after filming that video, the audio problems that I was having that you will notice, you'll have noticed were not due to the card. It was due to what software I was using to actually use the card on the computer. I was running it straight into OBS, and that was causing audio input issues. I um, ran it later um, today into um, VLC because VLC supports uh, capture cards, and was able to do that and came out much better. I'm gonna play a little clip of that now. As you can see, that worked much better in the end. Got it um, down to where there was hardly any input lag, um, and it just it works a lot better. So the card works great. Um, I'm very happy with it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.